Are there any amendments to the resolution? The floor is given to Kuwait. Thank you, Madam President. This is regarding the second one. Urges the member states to redouble their efforts to bring prosperity and peace to their people by achieving their goals. I would like to state the thought of our Prime Minister that there cannot be sustainable development without security. So I request you humbly to add security to this, to bring prosperity, security and thereby peace to their people for achieving these goals. Thank you. Are there any objections? Since there are no objections, this will be included. We shall move on to the next resolution. I thank the distinguished delegate of Yemen for drafting the resolution for the agenda for situation in the Middle East. Now, I invite him to present the resolution. Thank you, Madam President. The General Assembly, recalling its resolution 66 225 of 22nd December 2011 and taking note of Economic and Social Council Resolution 2012 23 of 26 July 2012, guided by the principles of the Charter of the United Nations, uh, reaffirming the applicability of the Geneva Convention related to the protection of civilian persons in time of war. Recalling in this regard the International Covenant on so Civil and Political Rights to and the International Convention Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. Recalling also the advisory opinion rendered on 9 July 2004 by the International Court of Justice, expressing its concern about the exploitation by Israel. Aware of the detrimental impact of the Israeli settlements on Palestinian and other Arab uh, natural resources. Aware also of the detrimental impact on Palestinian natural resources by being caused by the unlawful construction of the wall by Israel. Reaffirming the need for the resumption and the accelerated advancement of negotiation with the Middle East peace process on the basis of Security Council resolutions. Stressing in this regard the need for respect for the obligation upon Israel under the roadmap to free settlement activity, including so called natural growth and to dismantle all settlement output outposts erected since March 2011. Stressing also the need for respect and preservation of the territorial unity, contiguity, and integrity of all the occupied Palestinian territory, including East Jerusalem. Recalling the need to end all acts of violence, including acts of terror, provocation, incitement, and destruction. Reaffirms the inalienable rights of the Palestinian people and of the population of the occupied state and golden over the natural resources, including land, water, and energy resources. Demands that Israel, the occupying power, sees the exploitation, damage, cause of loss, or depletion, and uh, endangerment of the natural resources in the occupied Palestinian territory, including East Jerusalem and the occupied state and gold. St stresses that the wall and settlements being constructed by Israel in the occupied Palestinian territory, including in and around East Jerusalem, are contrary to international law and are seriously depriving the Palestinian people of their natural resources, and calls in this regard for full compliance with the legal obligations affirmed in the 9th July 2004 advisory opinion of the International Court of Justice and in relevant United Nations resolutions, including General Assembly Resolution ES 1050. Calls upon Israel to occupy power to com uh, comply strictly with its obligations under international law, including international humanitarian law. Thank you.